is going on, Nitro Sites? It is your boy, the Nitro General here. Back at it again for a brand new episode of our Pokemon Legends Arceus playthrough. If you guys are excited for this, <coughs> oh god, and you want to show some support, I would really appreciate if you guys hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you guys are new, all that good stuff, because at the end of the day, I'm trying to hit my end of the year goal of 350 subscribers. So help me out if you guys want to do that, share this video with your friends, all the good stuff. But yeah, at the end of the last episode, guys, um, I finished up everything we had to do off camera to get to the next star member. So we're headed right back to Silene right now to get that. So that now then we can head to the Cobalt Coastlands, you know, get a bunch more stuff. I caught a crap ton of Pokemon. Like, I caught probably 20 Pokemon and it still was like, nah, you're not close enough, dude. So, man, this sucks. But we're going to be in an area now with brand new Pokemon, so it shouldn't be that hard. All right. All right, Silene. <clears throat> yes, have you made progress on your research tasks? Have you pro yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm, you've made progress. Seems like you've earned yourself a star. <laughs> yeah. Give me that star, baby. Give me that star, baby. Hell yeah. With this, you have officially attained the rank of third star at the Galaxy Expedition Keep. You can now use Great Balls. For, yeah, so now, uh, Lillian will evolve, or well, baby, too. These rewards can be earned for your survey points, and we want to try star, too. Have this as well. It's a further recipe you'll need for crafting. <clears throat> Thank you. Continue to dedicate yourself to completing the Pokedex and hope to rise to higher ranks. With your current rank, you should be able to, you should be capable of braving the Cobalt Coastlands. You know your mission. Investigate Fire Spit Island. I mean I guess I know my I guess I know it. But I don't think we'll get to Fire Spit Island in this episode. I mean maybe. Nah, I doubt it. Nah, because there's still a bunch we gotta do before that. So let's go. Actually, let's talk to. Actually, I kind of wanna. Kind of wanna get some stylish, dude. Let me get some stylish stuff. <clears throat> oh yeah, we got. Uh... Oh wait, shame me. Oh, I didn't even know that that was a thing. Right, let's uh, let's see what we can get. Let's see what we can get. Um. I'm gonna see what it... Uh, I don't really care about the fancy Komodos. Ooh, festival ones though. I like those. Kind of like the Crimson, dude. Hmm. I think we're gonna... I think we're gonna get that. Um, and then we'll get... Kind of like these ones for that, too. Yes... You know, what do we what do we have for? Uh, I don't know if I want Zori sandals, dude. Fancy Zori sandals. Uh, boots. That looks good. Do we have like? Do they have like black ones? There we go. That looks good. And then, kind of like the eyeglasses too. That's kind of cool. Make ourselves look kind of fancy with these ones here. Yeah, let's do these. I like that. I like that. And then, uh, what about the hat? Uh, what would hat? What's this? Oh my god, yes. Yes, we're getting that, dude. I don't even care. Look at our character. Doesn't he look fantastic? Oh my god. Look at us, dude. We are the sharpest looking people in this entire town. Now, Arizal, I need you to give me a hairstyling. Hell yeah. So, what we're gonna do... Oh yeah, this is gonna be dope, dude. Grab yourself a seat. So, what will it be? Uh, we're gonna do... I hate the... Do they show you what they look like? Short? Nah. Middle part. I kinda like that. Side part. Curled. Braids. I don't want braids. What about our... I kinda like maybe the side part. Or maybe this one. I actually think we'll do this one. And then let's go. We got gold, black, white, crimson, blue, a peach pink. I actually kind of like the peach pink, dude. And we're going to go. We'll, we'll make our our eyebrows match, dude. Actually, no, we will not. We're going to go with black. We're going to confirm, dude. 
Hell yeah. Look, guys, we are now the sharpest looking people and that you could ever be in Pokemon Legend Arceus, right? Uh, this was, now guys, this was my speed run to looking the sexiest you can in Pokemon Legends Arceus. I uh, hope you guys did enjoy. Uh, if you guys want to see more speed runs on how to look sexy in other games, let me know. I'll wear the hat. Are you kidding me? I didn't just buy that hat not to wear it. Oh my god, dude. I look like... Do you guys remember that stupid vine from back when they're like, there's been reports of aliens in this thing. And then this Chinese guy pops up with the hat like this and he's like, I shocked my ass how? And then he, like, walks off. Dude, we are looking dapper, dude. Dapper, dapper, dapper. Dope. This is so cool. Can we not get in a, a different looking bag? Because I don't like this. Also, I'm going to drop off a bunch of... Actually, we, our storage is literally right here. So let's drop off, like, a bunch of our stuff. Like, because we just have way, way, way too much. We're going to drop off all that. Uh, we want to keep those. We want to keep the berries, I think. Uh, we don't need these though. These, we'll do that, we'll do that, this, 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 like Medicino Leagues, these, these, I guess, you know, I'm gonna drop off all the berries if we can, because it's like, the orange berries are really the only ones that really matter too much. Uh, okay, and then, that's it. And then I think we can, yeah. No, I think we could organize our satchel. Uh, how do we do that? Is it... What, what, what button is it? I can't see it. It's blocking. My, something's blocking it on my TV. Yeah, okay, it's that one. Alright, look at that. Wait, no, I didn't. Okay, there we go. But what I'm going to do is actually we're going to give this stuff to... We can give it to Cleaver. Attack, yeah, this is what I wanted. This will do that, and then, <clears throat> actually, maybe we'll give it to Sylveon now, and we'll do, we'll do attack, because obviously this thing's going to be a physical attacker. Um, so that's kind of cool. Alright, cool. Now we can move on to the Cobalt Coastlands. Oh, oh, and now we're going to get the talking to from Leon. What do we give his name? Ugh, this is nitro, or did we do, oh, I think, I can't remember what we did. So I suppose it should be expected that I run into you in the village. Were you going to study Pokemon next? Uh, Co Cobalt Coastlands. Oh, Cobalt Coastlands. Paulina certainly in a bit of a situation over there. She's a warden, and yet she has noble to see to. There are even some people in the Pearl Clan that speak ill of her, so not to her face. Oh, but you forgive me. Perhaps I shouldn't be airing dirty laundry. A piece of advice, then. As an apology for wasting your time. Some Pokemon are strongly affected by certain stones, which cause mysterious power. With the right stones, you can evolve you in some Pokemon. Like, you mean like I did with Lillian already? You need n look no further than Cleaver for proof of that. What I'm surely saying is basically this. If you and the Survey Corps want to learn all there is to know about the Pokemon of this region, then the stones you find throughout history will be very important. There's even a tale of a stone that contains the power of creation. The very same power of all made to use to create the universe. I thought you take my advice to here and not underestimate how important it is. Jump this grindish rack and deal. Here, I'll give you some rather handy stones I forgot I found. Between two grip pebbles. And you should want some stones that help you along with all. I mean, the Ginkgo guy has shoved them from time to time. Yep, okay, so we're gonna go to the Cobalt Coast Lands. We're gonna get Basket Legion. We are already, what? Almost 10 minutes into the episode. I probably should not have done that. I got my Charizard shirt on, too. Didn't even think about that. I got my, my Charizard shirt on. The rarest shirt that you can actually find. No, it's not. Really not. Oh, my God. Dude, this is really cool. But the water texture looks really weird from a high. It really, like, I, I don't know if you guys have been playing with Braviary and flying over the water and you look down. It looks like a really weird texture. But... Ah, the Cobalt Coastlands. A, a simply lovely corner of Hisui, sea and sky as far as the eye can see. What kind of Pokemon await us here, I wonder? Water types or flying types, perhaps? Oh, I simply can't wait to study them all. Now, I'm sure you're just as excited as I am to research this area's Pokemon, but let's not forget that you got a mission to accomplish. So any questions before we get started? About the Warden. 
Wardens, in fact. Here in the Cobalt Coastlands, you'll find Paulina, the leader of the Pearl Clan and Iska and the Diamond Clan. Perhaps there'll be some of you. Perhaps there'll be some uh, help to you as you dig into those curious occurrences. So I'm actually gonna sleep until midday, I think, just so it's not so dark around here. But I mean, we'll have to go catch that dust cloud so, at some point. But that should be hard. All right, sweet, bro. Hey, look at that, it's here though. <clears throat> Does she battle me here? I can't remember. Do, do, do. I can't hear her whistling because apparently my sound does not want to transmit through my headphones for some reason. I don't know why. It's not the headphones. It's something with my recording software and OBS. And I don't know what it is. That's a nice song you're playing. I bet she's playing Darude Sandstorm. I, I know it in my head, but I do love I do. I do love the flow. It feels it is that tones carried out of the very ends of space. But here I am. But here I. But but I am here, and so are you. So now I'm going to focus everything I have on battling you. I'm game. Very good. You have seen the vast space beyond the rift. Here I come. She's going to send out two Pokemon, right? Glaceon. God, I love Glaceon, dude. Glaceon used to be my favorite Eevee evolution. Now it's Sylveon. Sylveon and Espeon are, are my favorites. But Glaceon's a close third. Uh, but we fortunately mastered this, so we can just... Strong style flavor. I really wish that they would have implemented it with um, with Ponyta. That it would have made the flame wheel blue. How cool would that be, dude? That would have been so dope. But, alright. So you're going to use quick attack. I'm not going to do too much. There's more. Oh, it can't be you. You're going to... Lower my offensive stats, dude. Well, I'm just gonna flame wheel you. You're level 15. I think a strong style thing, even with an attack lower, should either two hit, probably two two hit you. Yeah. You quick attack again, bro. You ain't shit. That does way too. Oh my god, it killed me. Yeah, well, check this out. I also got an EV evolution, bro. Check this thing out. Look at that. But mine's a Sylveon, which is 10 times better than yours. Look at that. Oh, get out of here, Eevee, dude. Get out of here. Battle decided. Hell yeah, it was. Decided that you can suck me off. Okay, uh... Ah, now I feel better. The world is vast, and I am small within it. Pretty much. Thank you. Allow me to heal your Pokemon. I like the little... Oh, I just noticed her shoes look like actual, like the Pokedot... Poke dolls, Pokeballs of like the new ones. Her whole outfit kind of does. All right, with you, I think. All right, with you, I think with you, I can be frank. I can't afford to look weak in front of the Diamond King's leader or your commander, but in truth, I sometimes wonder how I've ended up with the burdens I bear. You see, we have a warden in the coastlands, a lovely woman named Paulina, but she tends to no lord or lady and she will not raise a successor to fill the late lord's empty seat either some people have started to question her worthiness to be a warden at all but lena that is to say paulina is he's very dear to me no matter what anyone might say we're both in the running to become the pro leader of the pro clan we should have success to surpass one another but she taught me a great deal too having said all this i have a favor to ask of you please help her raise the pokemon she looks after into a true uh, to a true heir to his father, the late lord. With the help of your strength, I think our late lord's heir would grow into a worthy successor. And if he succeeds, it should silence Lena's naysays. I don't know of anyone I trust more to help with this than the person who helped the Pearl Clan by quelling Cleaver's frenzy. You'll be able to find Lena up on the headland. Head down this hill, and to the left, you should find a slope leading up to the ridge. Oh my god, dude. Okay, well, I actually kind of want to buy some Great Balls. I forgot all about that. Um, by the way, anytime I hear the word, the name Paulina, I think of a certain character, and I don't know if anybody else does. This, is, this might be an obscure reference, but, uh, or maybe we can't buy him yet, I guess. Do I, can I craft any? Oh, well, we don't have any. We'll have to get some paper going to do it. 
But there used to be a game I used to play quite a bit uh, when I was younger that was very similar to Pokemon, and that was called Fossil Fighters, right? Which was basically like a game where you went around collecting different body or different body parts of Pokemon or of uh, dinosaurs, and if you collected the skull, you would be able to uh, resurrect the entire dinosaur, and you would be able to you like and you captured them in like little medals, which was kind of cool, and. Um, and then, as you got more parts for the dinosaur, they would become stronger, which is really, really cool. And I used to play the crap out of those games, right? And there was a character in one of the first or second ones that was named Paulina. And I always thought that that was a really weird name. So, that is always what I think of when I when I hear the name Paulina, is her. She, had, she wore, like, a little mask. She was pink. Uh, she was, like, a little demon mask. But she was also one of the fossil fighters, which was really, really cool. And... I don't know, I guess I just, it's been a long time, but, um, it's pretty, I mean, it, it was always really cool, if you ask me. Oh, man. Oh. Well, great, now we're kind of out of Pokeballs for right now, which is fine. All I gotta do is find some Apricorn trees, like, that one's not an Apricorn tree. I forgot, there's a moth in there. There's one. Um. We'll get a couple of these, and then we'll make, craft some Pokeballs, which, should, which will be cool. Um, some Ultra Balls, I should say, which will help us catch a lot of the Pokemon around here, since we got a lot of new ones. But, but this is where Growlithe spawns, too, the Hisuian Growlithe. And I can tell you guys, I can't tell you how much I have spent, how much time I spent trying to find Growlithe, right? Like, I must have been on this route for over, like, almost an hour trying to get one to spawn. So I'm telling you guys right now, if we're here and I just see a Growlithe spawn, I'm going to be so irritated. Because it took me so long to get one to spawn, man. It's like, if one just spawns be out of nowhere, I'm going to be so mad because... And we're not even gonna we're not even gonna use it on the team because I used it on my first playthrough of this. So, you know, as much as I love Hisuian uh, Growlithe, and as much as I would love to use one again, I don't really want to. Plus, I'm already kind of settled on using the shiny Ponyta as our fire type. So, um, that's probably our best. Right, I'll grab some of these two over here, but. Alrighty then. Alrighty then. Okay. Uh, hey, ma'am, you got a butterfly in the back of your head. Oh. <laughs> Hush now. Settle down. What is that thing on her neck? Is that like something to, to like put up over her face? Kind of like so she can swim underwater? Or what the hell? I am Paulina of the Pearl Clan. And who might you, and who might you be? Ah. Uh, so you're that child from the galaxy team. I heard you aided Cleaver and Lilligant when no one, when no other could qu cleanse their flirt, quell their frenzy. Your strength must be amazing. Yet you have such a gentle face. So what brings you to the Cobalt Coastlands? We have no lord here, much less a frenzied one for you to quell. Our previous lord was swallowed by the waves. He was rescuing his young pup that had been swept out to sea and ended up giving his life to ensure the pup's safe return. If you were to guess, which of these growlers would you say is the previous lord's child? Which, because I know, it's a small one. I already know. Oh, you have quite a good eye. This quiet, skittish growlers is the child of the previous lord. <laughs> I have no doubt this little one has potential to be a fine lord. But witnessing his father's demise has deep scars in his heart. Those, there are those who expect me to train him more strictly and force leadership on, lordship on him before he is ready. But I could never bring myself to do that. No matter what the rest of the Pro Clan says, my mind is quite made up. I'll stay by this little one's side and let him live out his life as he wishes. So now that you know your situation, might I ask what your purpose is coming to the coastlands? Uh, I make for Firespit Island. A survey of Firespit Island? I see. There are rumors that the place is haunted by strange shadows these days. You'll need the aid of a Pokemon known as Basket Legion to be forced across the sea. You should speak to Iskan, the Warden of the Diamond Clan. He should be able to help you. 
There is definitely something strange happening to Fire Spit Island. Those shadowy figures are, com are concerning, of course, but there's also the odd lightning that came from the roof in the sky. Lightning is a sign that the heavens are angry. I worry that it may have offended Almighty Sinnoh somehow. In the past, the Pearl Clan and the Diamond Clan were locked in conflict over which side revered the true Almighty Sinnoh. Even if we have uh, Almighty Sinnoh must be angered because there's still those who worship his false image of it. Ah, uh, but I digress. I do apologize. Iskin lives on lives on Apom Hill, just past Ginkgo Landing. I imagine you'll find him there. Okay, cool. So, I mean, we might as well. I think actually our best bet would probably be to fly back here, craft some Ultra Balls, and then we'll, we should be good to, you know. What, what, are we, what Pokemon are we being targeted by? I almost just, just like, I'm going to jump off the side because I forgot we don't have baby. <laughs> no, do not target me. You're one per ugly cat. <laughs> 32 Ultra Balls, dude. Hell to the yeah. That is dope. But we're gonna have to we're gonna have to make sure we get some more uh, iron chunks and stuff. So we can make some more here in the future, but um that's a Staravia. I think we ha we had a Staravia at one point, right? I can't remember. We evolved it, right? Yes. Cool. We did. Just wanted to make sure. Good do. All right. Unless you're trash cloak Wormy. Um, I don't really feel the need to get that because I did in my original playthrough. But but did I just see? That thing did not just have sparkles, right? Oh, I saw mine come out with sparkles. I was like, no way! Whoa, that lighting glitch over there. Did you guys see that? I I don't know if you guys have noticed it as much as I have, but there's been a lot of, like, little little glitches in, like, the grass and the sky and, like, the trees and stuff, um, which is not really that big of a deal, but it is a little concerning. Because it only, like, like I think some people have said, I feel like this game feels a little rushed. Um, I feel like if they put a little bit more time into it, though, it could be great. Oh my god, Apon climbs trees! I, I've never seen that before, that's adorable. That should catch it, though, right? Hell yeah, we got an Apon. We got an Apon. Whoa, what's up, dude? What's up, Lola? Well, hello there. Well, hello there, Nacho Cheat. Fancy running into you out here. Me? Oh, I'm not in the hunt for some plates. How's your plate hunting going, young friend? Meh. No need to be humble. I see you've already got your hands on four plates. You gain plates when you call friends like nobles and when a great Pokemon recognizes you as worthy of a bearing, isn't that right? The way you've been collecting those plates, it reminds me of the ancient hero. The one that said that battle against Almighty Sinnoh. You know, I've been wondering. The ten Pokemon that are said to have followed the ancient hero, their powers are supposed to be come from Almighty Sinnoh itself. Why would they seek to challenge Almighty Sinnoh along with the hero then? Or else we'll get some answers once we gather all the plates. Well, I'll let, well, let's both do our best to find more. But please don't overexert yourself. I'd hate for something to happen to one of our guild's loyal customers. Alright. Alright, let's go talk to this guy here. Uh, hello? Uh, do I, uh, do I have a visitor? Uh, I'll be right out. Give me a moment. Hey, yo, what's up? So, um, I'm Iskan of the Diamond Clan, a Galaxy Team member with a Celestica Flute. Uh, oh, you must be Nitro G, right? Huh? Have I done something to warrant your visit? Yes. Yes, you have. Oh, well, sudden visits give me quite a shock. I do hope you give me more advance notice in the future. So, um, why are you here? I need by Basque Legion's aid. Uh, oh, so you want to you wanna go to Fire Spit Island? Well, well if you, you insist, then you probably need Basque Legion's favorite snack. That should help him warm up to you. Preparing his favorite... Oh, it's... Uh, more than a little difficult. 
more likely an impossible high hurdle, or really just impossible, if I'm being honest. How so? Uh, I'll tell you. I have the right materials, but... But then you... Well, you see, the next part is something I could never manage, but you need to catch this one Pokemon that appears at night. Go on. Y you really want to know? You you really don't value your own life, do you? It's the... the, the dus Dusclops. Oh, even saying its name fills me with dread. So, the materials for the food have to be Im imbued with the flavor by Duskar Dusclops Dark Pulse. That's the only way you can make Basculation's favorite food, you see. Got it. Wow, wow, everyone in the Galaxy team is just like you. Your nerves aren't steel. They're titanium. It's positively frightening how um, fearless you are. D does... Oh, I can't say it. Well, the Pokemon I need is only one eye. It could be found wandering around Deadwood Haunt. Ah, uh, Deadwood Haunt is the area that looks like a, hot, a hand on your map. You'll know you're there when you find wrecked boats. Uh, I'll try very hard to avoid those one-eyed Pokemon, and so I know a lot about them, you see. W would you like to wait here until night when a Pokemon appears? I'll wait. Well then. <clears throat> <clears throat> Looks like we're going to have to take on Arcanine in uh, the next episode next week, too, so make sure you guys are too dead for that. Okay, so we will... Oh, I forgot. I don't have Brady Ari. I can't just jump off ledges and be fine. Um. So we gotta go. Oh, there's the moth in there. Should I, should I try to catch that? Can we? Can we do? Well, uh, now we're gonna have to attack it. Uh, it's a Mothum. That's... Uh, Mo Man, Mothum's a cooler Pokemon that, than I ever really thought. He's really cool, and he's actually decently strong, so... I'm gonna use Dust. It's gonna do quite a bit to me. I'm gonna throw a Great Ball, and hopefully we catch it. Right? Oh, uh, I don't know if we will or not. Nope. God dang it, man. It's gonna, don't knock me out. Don't knock me out. Oh, he's definitely gonna knock me out here. Damn it, man. That really sucks. <laughs> I will go into Sylveon, I guess. That actually really sucks. I just I just want you in my collection, bro. Please. Cause get straight in the Pokeball, man. Just stay in there. Oh, we got him. Cool. Awesome. Maltham was caught. All right, so we gotta go down and around here, I think. Well, that's a full ass float so over there, bro. Um, I don't think it's a. Uh... Oh, dude. Oh well, I don't know. I, I don't think we would have got it, but. Oh my god, we actually did get it. Holy crap, that's actually awesome. I can't believe we did. So, oh, no, please. I don't really want to talk to you, dude. I know you're like, I don't know where, where the, the dude is, but... I don't know where he is, but I'm not setting it. I don't really care, so... That's a full-ass drift one, bro. Um, I don't think we have one of you. Uh, can we catch you though? Nope. Well, uh, I'll be back. Don't really care to, to try anymore for you, because I just don't really care. Wow, why does that water look all glitchy, dude? Oh, we don't, we don't need a Murkrow, because I already caught a Murkrow. Um, I don't know if we need a dust. I just wanna. Uh, no, we do. We don't need one of you. I didn't think so. I thought we caught one earlier in the playthrough, but we gotta get over here because we gotta find dust bobs, which I found right away. Yep. 
All right, so, and we just caught him right away, which is actually really, oh, God. But what about, what about you? Can I catch you right away? No. Well, I don't know where that went. Oh, he went right there. Well, we'll, we'll toss a Pokeball at you, and uh, we should be able to catch you. Disco, it's level 30. Um, oh, we got a Drift Bloom in the battle, too, which was not great. But we're going to throw a Pokeball here at Duskull. We should be able to catch it. Because it's a Duskull. Yeah. Cool. First evolution Pokemon, usually really easy to catch anyway. So it's like... Um, he's going to... Hey, do what? You might want to turn around, bro. You're, the Pokemon is right... There you go. Cool. Dude, he's missed the fire. Really? Why? Apparently because it does a crash right there. I'm just going to strong style Waterfall. And if this kills, it kills. There's two of them in, in this battle. Are you kidding me? Okay, yeah, goodbye. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. No. I'm not. Are you kidding me? Wait, okay, wait. Let's see if we can actually catch this thing from behind. Where'd he go? My guy! There he is. Ready? Boom! I almost did not catch him. That almost was too close. Can we? Oh, dude. Seriously. Bye. See you later. I really don't want... I really don't care enough about... About you to... Oh, that's a... That's a gold arc. I don't really want to catch... I'm not really going to battle you. I don't really... I don't really think that would be the smartest decision of mine in the world. To, to do that, right? I'm just gonna toss one more, all, uh, one more great ball at you, and well, no, we're not because now I can't. So I'm gonna run by, toss one at you, toss one at you. Shit! Ah, I'm not. I don't want to get into a battle with them because they're all too strong. Dang, man. But oh, we, we should be good. We should be good. I don't have any sound in my headphones, so it's just like, it kind of sucks that I've, I've had to record a bunch of episodes now without being able to hear anything, but, I mean, you guys can hear it, at least I hope you guys can hear it, because I have not, I should have looked before, if you guys aren't hearing anything, but, the capture card, our audio is working, so, did, did you bring it, you know, the, the Pokemon, with a name that sounds like, uh, did, Dust Bobs? I did, bro. Oh, I also caught that route, too, by the way. So I came back and I found it, so that's pretty cool. You, you really brought it? No, don't bring it out. R right. Uh, I guess I guess I gotta do my part, seeing how um, determined you are to get to that island with Vesca Legion. Usually, I um, ask Paralina to growl us, but this time you need you need to help since we're making this smack snack that you'll be asked, accepted by Best Collegian. Uh, w once I give you the signal, you have to do you have that dust bops of yours use its dark pulse. <laughs> He's not even looking at it. Three, two. Wait, uh, no, it's too frightening. Come on, try again. Right, so cutting down to it just makes the anticipation terror worse. Let's simply have you do it when I say go. I go. That's cool. A delicious aroma wafts through the air. Basically, your favorite snack is we're all ready. Oh, so sweet. Okay, so we should be able to get Basque Legion now. But I actually, I'm going to take a second here and just check to see how long that video was that I recorded. Because something cut out again, the recording did. So I need to just check to see how long I had been recording the first video for. So, uh, it is this one. And I had been recording it for 29 minutes, right? Yes, okay.
cool. Just so I know how long this episode has been. I don't really want to do that. Both the aroma and the shapes are perfect. It's a per- perfect ball of Basque Legion food. Then m- let us make for Ginkgo Landing. We can summon Basque Legion there. I'll pro- after we get Basque Legion, I'll probably end off the episode. Just because I think that that'll be a good place to end it off. Uh, then next week we'll be able to go and take on the Arcanine and everything like that. And then after Arcanine, the last one that we have, we'll have to do... Um, what? Is that another unknown there? Oh no, I thought that was another unknown. No, 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 we don't want you though. Don't want you though. Alright, Iscan, how did you get down here before me? Oh, hello, Nitro G. I, I was just waiting for you. Uh, hello, hello, Iscan. Oh, Paulina, I, I thought you said we shouldn't be seen together. I'm sure Nitro G can keep a secret. Besides, both I and Growlith, both I and the Growlith pups were eager to meet with the Great Basculesian again. Uh, I see. Well, in that case, let me summon Basculesian. <laughs> oh man! All right. Basculesian is really cool, but I have to admit, I was huge on it when it was uh, first released. Now, I'm not, after using it on my team in my original playthrough, I'm not as, like, crazy about it. Crazy about it as I once was. I mean, you'll get some cool Pokemon, but... Go on, Nitro G. You can give the food to Basket Legion now. Here you go, little fella. I got you the souls of your enemies. Oh. Ha! The Great Basque Legion. Oh, oh, thank goodness. I was a little worried about whether Basque Legion would accept this favor. So, uh, Nitro G, you should let Basque Legion hear you playing. Alright, here we go. I told you this you. I told you this you. Man, dude, I'm looking dapper, my guy. Dapper. Basque Legion opened his heart and learned well the sound of your playing. Oh, yeah, you did. You received a splash play from Basque Legion. Wow! Alright, now you can ride Basque Legion across Tranquility Cove and head to Fire Spit Island. Wow! My congratulations to you, Nitro G. <laughs> Paulina, do you want... Paulina, do you want to tell him? I mentioned to you before the previous Lord rescues Growlithe Pup. During that incident, Iska and, and the Badge of Legion saved my life as well. Since then, I felt a great deal of affection for Iska here. I truly adore him, but I know there, there are those who will speak ill of me behind my back. So I try to meet with Iska while there are no prying eyes to preserve his reputation. Well, well, well I was just doing what I, any decent person would when I saved you. Perhaps, but nonetheless, another day I found out the strength to accept Growlithe and he is not to force him to become the next lord. And it was all thanks to the courage you showed me, Iskan. Uh, perhaps we should have this discussion for another time, after all. Well. I don't remember what I gave all these for, for voices, so... I bring good luck to my sisters wherever I go, and I'll... And I'll luck to anyone who crosses our path. I'm the eldest, and I'll be your unlucky charm. Thought you spotted a four-leaf clover? Well, I'll soon have you seen double. I'm the middle sister, and I'm the cl- and I'm one clover you can't pick. Heads I win, tails you lose. You got no chance in this game of fortunes. I'm the youngest, coin, but I'm definitely not your good luck piece. We're the misfortune sisters, known across the frigid land of Husui, and your luck just ran out. Now get ready to now get ready to hand over that growlith. You want to take my partner? If your aim is to pester us with bad jokes, those ridiculous introduction of yours were more than enough. Y- yeah, yes, exactly what she said. Now, Gengar. Gengar. Ah. They're gone. Doggies are gone. All dogs go to heaven. They stole the wrong Growlithe. They thought that one was the Lord, but that one is the Lord instead. 
Thanks for the thanks for the growlers, fools. We can't live we can't live the kinds of lives we want because narrow-minded groups like the Diamond Clan and the Pearl Clan. If we want to live freely in Great Land of Hisui, we need to have powerful Pokemon on our side. Don't worry, we'll make sure. Don't worry, we'll make sure this pup. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll make sure this pup grows up nice and strong. We'll even make him a lord for you. Let's take them out over to our camp and get to work. No one would bother us in the place. I'm miserably hot. Yep. Yeah, good. Oh, man. <clears throat> what? No, Growlithe. What, what should we do, Nitrogy? This is an emergency, right? But, but, uh, you see, I've never, I've never actually had my partner battle before. Please, Nitrogy, I beg you, help us. That Growlithe is a very, very dear Pokemon to me. Please save him. They said they were going to a place where nobody would bother them. The only place around here the Cobalt Coast them seems suitable is Fire Spit Island. Oh, now they have best collision to help you cross the water. You can reach that island too. Please, could you find it in your heart to help Polina? Yeah, sure. I mean, I don't care, dude. I'll do whatever you want. Oh, thank you. You're so kind. We'll make our way to Fire Spit Island as well. No, Polina, you should wait here and keep this little growl safe. I'm sure he needs you right now. So I'm not sure if I want to go to an island with lightning and bandits and... No, come on, Nitrogy. No time to think. We must go now. You should know that Best Legion can jump from the water surface and jump... Okay, dude. Shut up. Stop. Okay. Okay. Yes. Oh, my God, dude. You need to stop talking. There is so much talking in this game. Okay. So I think I'm going to end off this episode here. One thing I do want to mention, guys, is that by the next episode, I may try and catch a Stantler so that we can evolve into a Weird Ear, and then we can have our full team already. But um, I'm probably going to do that off camera because we'll have to catch one. I'll figure out how to evolve it, all that good stuff. But other than that, guys, that's going to be for me. It's like I say at the end of every video. I'm the Nurture General. I really hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you in the next one. Nurture General is out. Peace.